Shortcut Enter. It's not you lying, son of a gun. <laughs> eh. Shit. There were supplies. God damn it. Fine, fine. I hope you did not hear me sneezing, but you know. Shit happens. Uh, looks like Finland is coming to the day. What? Am I seeing this right? No, no, that's finished it. My bad. No, so yeah. Yep, the Finns lost the defensive line at. Uh, uh, what? The Manstein line? Yeah, I think it was the Manstein line. Ah, poor Finland. Meanwhile, Germany and France are looking at each other over the Magellan line. I see your Magellan line, and I'm not gonna attack it. And France is like, come on, you pussies! Don't you wanna attack the Magellan line? Look at it! It's so easy to flank! <laughs> what do you want, Germany? Oh. They're willing to give us the money we're giving you to buy rare materials. Fine. Trade, everyone! <laughs> and... What? Shit, it didn't I miss it? How the fuck didn't I miss it? What is it? What is it? Saudi so Arabia... The war ended. And I missed it. People's Canada... Damn it. This is just not gonna inform us of what happened. In... I don't know. I don't know. No. No, the Soviet Union declared war, so apparently we don't get a message when Finland surrenders. Because they did. So, because Finland inflicted so many casualties on the USSR, the USSR basically just said, we're still only gonna do what we agreed to do, what we demanded of you. It's still unfair and we still bombed the shit out of your cities, well, capital cities, and killed lots of your people and took lots of your territory, but you know, we're not gonna conquer you like we did. We are going to do it with Estonia and Latvia. But I did uh, take the uh, military station and port in Hanko, and I did take some uh, large swaths of the eastern Finnish, Finnish border. Some of it. Didn't you? No? There we go. So, a bit here, a bit there. And I did uh, expand their borders so they won't have to attack the Manistar line in the future. <laughs> But yeah, the Finn really proved themselves superior, and basically by doing so, they uh, uh, confirmed the Germany's impression of uh, the Soviet Union that it was incompetent militarily, which it was <laughs> at the time. Medium tank advance, yay! Excellent, I guess. Matter of industrial production, light artillery. By the time we get back to light artillery, it's gonna be fine. Meaning tank gun advance and reliability. Excellent. Now we're waiting for Germany to do something else. And large warship radar. Again. Again. Oh, God, don't tell me I'm gonna. Ooh. Hello. Alrighty then. So you guys go here. And that's gonna. Shit, which one is it? Uh, the ninth reliable? Yeah. You're nowhere, you're gonna be the third course, third corps is gonna be in the east. Consuls, in one second corps, I forgot, it's gonna be in the west theater. Right, so you go to mm, third corps. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, there's a lot of micromanaging. It gets worse. <laughs> you should be the 27 New York division, I guess. You enter west, and then we give you some infantry. You only have eight corps and two special force divisions. That's kind of bad. Kind of really bad. Darby's Ranger Division. How about you go here as well? With the naval HQ, which is kind of fuck. I am gonna spread these out more, but since I can't attack. Yet, because our neutrality is not falling fast enough. <laughs> Keep doing shit. Haiti. Haiti? Spearhead Doctrine. Excellent. Armor Combat with minus one. This is amazing, because 
Until now, it, um, Armor Division took up two with combat with on the front line, which was annoying as a whole. Fuck. Meaning you had units doing no nothing at all. I'm accepting everything. I don't know why, but. Keep doing things. Delay doctrine advance. Excellent, excellent. Germany, do something, poke, poke. Do, do something, Germany. Uh, I guess the phony war has begun. Spawn out on advance. Excellent. You want upgrades? Yeah, you want them. I know you want upgrades. Eh, fine. Build upgrades. Build upgrades. Just building industrial capacity at the moment. There we go. Germany declare war on their new enemy, Norway. This war is a limited war, meaning. Everyone else in the Axis does not get to join the war. Because Germany is greedy. <laughs> and confident in their ability to beat Norway, even though it's allied with... Well, even though it's out war with... Uh, France and uh, United Kingdom. In one of the most dumbest <laughs> naval blunder of the war. When the United Kingdom, the home fleet, was more than ready to intercept the Kriegsmarine and fuck it up. <laughs> oh, the Germans got lucky. Which is what they always do, apparently. What's this? Canada, yes. Operation level, yes, yes, yes. Do that. We are not losing or taking any fuel. Huh. That's interesting. Or getting any fuel. Build me in this. I did. I just. Ooh, radar station. Norway cancelled our agreement. Poor Norway. Turns out Norway ran into problems, and we want a radar here, so we can see everything. Finland is mobilizing. Germany wants shared fighter pilot train. What do you want? No. I know I have money, but I'm I'm good on supplies. Cuba wants metal. As long as you don't ask me to buy shit. Oh, there we go. Infantry attack weapons. Excellent. Germany's already invading. Hard. Germany's invading on. You guys are gonna keep sending invites if I refuse them, so. At the moment, yes, having a stockpile of weapons is pretty good. Of money. Since my resources are never gonna be a problem ever again. Cuba. Can... Germany declared war on Luxembourg. Is doing it now? So why is it still invading Norway? It's. In, well, it's going through the Ardennes. It's flanking the Maginot Line and conquer Luxembourg. I mean, this, it's just doing this now, saying, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Because it didn't declare war on everything else. Superior firepower. <laughs> yes. Germany annexed Norway already. Yep. And then. Sweden's like, oh shit. <laughs> How about we play nice with Germany? Because, uh, yeah. Uh, Cleveland. I have no idea what I'm gonna say in the Cleveland. I guess we're going into the Atlantic fleet. Let's look past the radar station. The great radar station of the south. And yes, it's time we do something. Ah, fuck. I forgot. Um, no. Divisions. The infantry division is now gonna have another artillery division. And it's gonna be saved. As soon as I find the, the thingy. Really? You're using those? No, they weren't bad weapons, just that just had not they didn't have rifle bullets. Motorized, yeah, we're still waiting for that. Cavalry. Poor cavalry. Cavalry is gonna now have five divisions. Yay, us. Armor 1940. T4E1. Really? Um, does the game really think this is a good build-up? I should really read up on what's a how what brigades an armor division should have. That's too much armor, in my opinion. I mean, that's a lot of armor. But I'm gonna worry when I have motorized artillery. That's when I'm gonna worry about the. Uh, Mechanized. We don't have mechanized. <laughs> That's when I'm gonna worry about the build up of armor. Armor 1940, armor 19. 
So the 1940 armor has motorized and the 1942 has mechanized and less armor. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they know. Well, they don't know. Who cares? Yes, upgrade everything. Oh shit, I forgot. Right, Sweden's mobilizing, blah 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 blah. But we have 20 infantry divisions and we're building more. I forgot how many more. So, brigade attachments, we need artillery. We need brigades. What is artillery? Uh, 11 and 21, I believe? I believe that's fair. I do believe we're making 20 divisions, 20 core. So that's gonna be, yeah. Should be good. Do it now, as now for now. As reserves, sure, whatever. Build them now, build them fast. We need to, well, fill up our infantry divisions because they're now missing one brigade each. <laughs> they're not missing one brigade, which can put one brigade in them, which we are totally gonna do. Romania, right, right, right. The phony war is continuing in the Nordic Luxembourg. Isotope separation. Uh, rocket artillery. Do I? Fuck it, I'm gonna build one, oh, research it, just to see what I can, how good it is. It might be good. It might be better than regular artillery for infantry divisions. Armor cars... Oh. Mysterious and Chinglai tanks, huh? I guess. I guess we are. I'm not accepting any more trades, but good. If you cancel your trade, you fucked up. So don't cancel your trade, that's what I'm saying. We're still staying, but not. We're actually losing? How are we? Losing consumer goods. Where are we losing consumer goods? I don't know. But it looks like... Oh, what's that? France lost... No, France attacked... No, oh, that's looking. So France lost the northern part of the Maginot Line? How? Is... How? Why? Light tank reliability, excellent. And integrated support, and light tank armor, and cavalry and tank weapons. If I knew. I think we're gonna stop. Now, where is it? Where is it? Infantry, right? I think we're gonna stop with the cavalry, though. We're good. We have everything we need. We're just gonna wait until these are done and then build up more than cavalry for the places where <laughs> fuel is gonna be hard to achieve yet. What's that? Oh, Colombia. Yeah, and the Pacific needs a carrier, oh, cruiser. And lots of radar station. Excellent! Which is what the doctor ordered. I think we're gonna need more than one radar station for Mexico. Because, well, it's Mexico. And I mean, the... Fuck! <laughs> I misclicked. Thank you! I mean, this one should cover most of it. Should. I'm rather put it somewhere else, like Canada, or uh, not in the Pacific, but it's gonna be conquered by the Japanese. <laughs> Germany declared war on the Netherlands. Another limited war. Infantry warfare. How? Oh, what? We're using a lot of things that's two years ahead. Operational level organization is one of them. Small arms. What infantry is good? Are you telling me the infantry is good? Because, yeah, the infantry is good. Very well. Infantry, stop researching for now. That also means we need upgrades. Yep. Upgrades for the infantry. It's always good. Cavalry support weapons. Excellent, excellent. But you are done now. We're good here. We are good here. We, yep, yep. <laughs> We are good here, but we're totally gonna need some uh, tactics. Damn it. The Montepliere. Fine. Romania, Romania, refused. Do what I tell you to do and stop wasting my, my production. 467 production, that's good. Nobody cares. Yep. Mass assault. I don't believe Mass assault though is. Yeah, two years ahead. Fine. Where is Grand Battle Plan? G give me that. 
start researching that. Mass assault gives me what? Because I lost it. Mass assault. I can't see it. I'm blind. It should be here. Oh, there it is. It gives me nothing. In well, morale for the infantry. That's important. Never mind. Keep doing mass assault eventually. Uh, yes. We keep building him. Santa Fe. San Diego. And Miami. Bienvenuto, army, army. Building Alexandria, yes? Yes. And uh, sure, what do you want? Crude oil. Very well, we're losing oil. We're losing oil by standing still. Imagine when we actually send the fleet out. The fleets out. And the air force. And everything. Oh god. Small warship. Speaking of oh god. Oh god. Right. Uh, Pacific. It's all good. It is all good. More industry is good. It's amazing even. But uh, when I said oh god. We're gonna need air power. I need to update our airplanes and start building some air power. Tell me, I put the word, yeah, my infantry is in Frederick. Uh, except I didn't put them in Frederick, I put them in Hergeston. Still good, north of the river is good enough. Good, 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 but not really. So, uh, yeah. Advanced aircraft design, how about you do that? Start small here. Medium tank fuel for tactical and naval. That's tactical naval. Cas and CAG. We need better CAGs at least. Tactical naval and strategic bombers. Not so much. Strategic. Strategic. Transport planes. Air defense and defense. Sure. I guess do that. Air defense less, more range. We need more range. Cargo hold. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any paratroopers, but you know. Yeah. Air launch torpedo. Cags. Yeah, Cags need air launch torpedoes. <laughs> more importantly, we need something else, which is air training. Cags, Cags. We oh, yeah, are doing air training. And intercept efficiency. Probably gonna help the CAGs as well. Radar combat impact. Eh, fine. That. By the target isolation and eh, bubble target isolation. Okay, about that. CAS, 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 CAS. CAS because it helps CAGs. Ground attack, efficiency. Naval training. Oh shit, really? I did not see this one affecting the CAGs. Or this one. Basically, everything affects the CAGs because the combat air group includes fighters, dive bombers, and torpedo bombers. So, yeah, everything affects the CAGs. And only now did I remember that. Oh, the bombing target chance, yeah, it's probably important. Strategic and transport organization, means Fine. Heavy bomber, fine. Airborne assault efficiency, sure. Like, <laughs> yes. Uh huh. I see what you're doing there, but oh, come on. 1943, eventually you will get to that. Research efficiency 1941. Go up there and do what they told you to do. I said, go up there. And I stand up there. They were air targeting. Whatever. Uh, we still have until 1941 to research this, but we're lacking behind. A lot. Lucky behind a lot. Meanwhile, the Germans continue to seize the Netherlands. Yes, yes, yes. Oh god. <laughs> uh, yep. Did I say it's gonna be boring? Because it's, yeah, it's. It's gonna happen. We're gonna have to watch everything happening. In real life. Not really. Landing craft. Meaning we can build some of those if we had marines. We do not have marines. What the hell was the landing craft? Escorts? Escorts. Invasion tactics? Yeah, I guess. And landing craft support. They're all 1940, so 
Learning how to do this is important. Eventually. So how about you do it? Also, yes, yes, yes. Send everything up there. Yeah. Operational level organization, Nicaragua, right, right. Germany declared war on Belgium. So this, this is it. It's happening. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Let's continue watching Germany steamrolling over Europe and be paranoid by it and decide to build the <laughs> tank destroyer course. Which, to be fair, did their job admirably. Unfortunately, nobody. Oh, they never actually. Well, except twice, they never actually got a chance to. Losing money? They never got a chance to uh, be used in the way they're supposed to be used. Which was defensively ambushing a blitzkrieg. Right? A German. Armor at assault. Ah, short defenses. Damn it! Rocket site is completed. Very well. We shall beat this one in the ass end of nowhere, specifically Tulsa. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching this from Tulsa. <laughs> ah, damn it! Continue. If that means something. I missed the button behind the mobile. Um. Nine capital ships. We should have enough. I think. Which leaves us with so nine capital ship, eighteen escorts. Oh god damn it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten escorts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right now we we're gonna need I want at least one cruiser for each capital ship. You know, in case of air attacks. So, yeah, we're gonna need more, one more light cruiser for each fleet. And then we'll be done with the fleet. We can actually send the light cruisers if we're building them anymore. We sort of are. We sort of are, but we're mostly done with them. Now we're, now we still have. Well, uh, yeah, we're kind of done with the light cruisers. We're gonna need to build our own from now on, <laughs> which we haven't researched though. Yeah, but <laughs> things happen. We need infantry more than uh, armor. It's not like some, you know, island nation is gonna attack us, <laughs> right? <laughs> Should I? I think I'm gonna just send these two here. No, no, no. The carrier is more important than everything. The carrier fleet is gonna protect the battleships, the super heavy battleships. It's all good. Everything's gonna be fine. Except I'm not getting any money. <laughs> yeah, H have some money. I know why I'm not getting money, and it's time to stop it. So we're importing. Yeah, enough. No more supplies. We are good on supplies. Sorry, France, you're on your own. Jesus, France, the hell! And Italy. And Finland doesn't have any more. I think I'm out of money, that's why I can't get them. Good, so I saw something from New Zealand, but it's good enough. It will have to do. We are getting back our money now. What do you want, Germ Yugoslavia? All oh, right, Yugoslavia is actually a thing that exists. Oh, uh, meanwhile, in Europe, Hungary forced Germany to force Romania to give them parts of Transylvania, large parts of Transylvania back. And the Soviets won Bukovina? Was it? I mean, there's a way to see this. So, Basarabia did that. Sorry. And I call myself a Romanian. <laughs> right. So, we gave Western Basarabia to the Russians and parts of Transylvania to the Hungarians. And pretty soon, Bulgaria is going to demand parts of Dobroja. Which is really going to suck and force us to join the Axis. Guerrilla warfare, excellent. So, yeah, um, Western Union is going to is get. Western Europe, Eastern Union is getting fucked. Meanwhile, the Soviets are. Uh, not invading Latvia yet. Germany is uh, making progress. 
Italy decided it is their our time. Now it is the time for Italy to fulfill her ambitions. We only need a few thousand dead so that we can sit at the, at the peace conference as a man who has fought. Right. Meaning, we have the stab in the back option. The leadership of Italy assured America that they were desirous of peace, but the government of Italy has now chosen to preserve what it terms its freedom of action, and the, the hand that held the dagger has struck, it, has struck it in the back of its neighbor. Some indeed still hold that to the now obvious delusion that we of the United States can safely permit the United States to remain a lone island in a world dominated by force. So, it will declare war on the United Kingdom, and we lose 5 neutrality and get... Ooh, that's pretty good. 10% industrial capacity, that's gonna be a lot. And 10% leadership modifier. So, we have 487 industrial capacity effective and 47 leadership. We are totally taking this. Derp. Um, yep. Stab in the back. Goddamn Italians. Let me just save the game just in case. Just in case something happens when I'll tap to check to see if I'm still recording. And I am! Excellent! And the microphone is now muted. Fantastic! No failures this time around. Good. So, let's see. 39.90. That's glorious. Glorious! Well, excellent. That was actually spot on. Right. I understand espionage doesn't have much, but we kinda need stuff in espionage. So how about 20 in espionage? And almost fuck all in, in diplomacy, because we have a lot of diplomatic influence. And everything else in officers, because holy shit! <laughs> right, uh, I'll change my mind. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, could you just... <laughs> How many officers? 14 officers each day we need? Fuck! <laughs> 14,900, right? I might actually have to research less than before. Holy fuck, damn it! That's. That's sad. It's very sad. <laughs> We can't fight. <laughs> Damn it, what are you doing? Where am I here? I'm I'm alright because I'm not building the boats anymore. Hmm. Right. Could you how long is it until I have my fucking self propelled artillery? Not long. Well the game says yeah sure we can do stuff. Uh, Wait, boats. Shit, I forgot about boats. There we go, build a lot of those. Escorts, not so much. I think escorts are just a waste of industrial capacity. Four of each. But since yeah, we never know what's gonna happen here, have some more industrial capacity. Oh, 20, 21. 21. Parallel. Something happens, something happens. There we go, we're, we're good. I think. Pam, what do you want except annoying me? Shit, I forgot to actually check how much I've recorded. Give me a moment! Right, 10 more minutes. And in case you haven't noticed it, oh, you. Was I gonna stop you? No, I was not. Still waiting for that. I'm gonna kinda yeah, insist on some light tank divisions. Germany conquered Belgium. And they apparently went straight over the Maginot Line. They didn't flank anything, just blah 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 blah. Did you join the war? Yeah, you would join the war and you're doing nothing. Because the French are actually complete. <laughs> Only Italian, not so much. Tiger Spines. So yeah, looks like. Soviet Union annexed Estonia, Soviet Union annexed Latvia, Soviet Union annexed Lithuania. Well, uh, what? Or was it Ger No, Soviet Union and Germany, they both annexed Latvia. Lithuania, my bad. Soviet Union again here. 
So there's a lot less countries in Europe now. What is that? Oh, the British landed in northern Norway. Right. Yeah. I guess far northern Norway. The assassination of Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky, one of the top lieutenant and heir presum presumptive of Vladimir Ilyich, Ilyich Lenin, died today in a, Me in a Mexico, Mexico City hospital. Sorry, I, I, I have the need to say Mexico. It's funny to me. <laughs> he was attacked in his home with an ice axe by a Spanish national in the employ of the NKVD, the USSR Secret Service. He succumbed to his wounds one day later, after a failed power struggle with, uh, with Joseph Stalin and his allies for control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Trotsky spent the 30s in exile, living in Turkey, France and Norway before finally settling in Mexico. He remained a constant critic of Stalin and, he, and the degenerated, degenerated worker state of the Soviet Union under his rule. He staked his life and died for it. Although one could make the argument that he was really just angry that um, Stalin didn't, didn't give a shit about it. Oh shit, the special forces in that clearly. Very good. I should have made some anti-air just to place it in the HQs because it's annoying me. I could make police divisions that could work. Mini, um, MPs. Military police division. Right. Do what I tell you to do. But hey, at least we're getting brigades, which is important. Because when we're gonna strike with five brigades for division, the Mexicans are not gonna have a chance. Then again, we're still far, far away. Speaking of. What is it? Intelligence! Mexico, please. We have zero spies in Mexico. Right, well, we can't do shit to that, can we? All priorities. Uh, hey, she. Hey, she. Uh, don't care about Italy. Hey, you. Don't care about the Soviet Union. Don't care about Brazil. We keep catching spies. Doesn't tell us which spies we caught, but we keep catching spies. Uh, Argentina, Brazil, Colombia. Focus on our neighbors, please. Peru, Uruguay, Uruguay. Let's say I fucked up again. <laughs> I should have really focused on. Hey, Honduras actually has spies. And making sure my neighbors. Nicaragua, fuck Nicaragua. Fuck Panama. And just focus on Mexico. Everything on Mexico. That way, we're gonna be able to start this war sooner, eventually, maybe. Hopefully. What do you want? Money. Well, rare materials, and Italy wants money for supplies. I don't give a shit about your supplies. And Venezuela wants... 870 nomads. Okay. God damn it. Yeah, education, leadership. That's actually amazing. What's all leadership at? 41. Good. Everything in fucking officers, please. And uh, I am aware education is supposed to be four years ahead, but do it faster. What else do we have years ahead? Light armor gun tanks. Light. Tanks. Am I building my tanks? No, let's get rid. No, damn it! Fuck! Get up there! Get up there! <laughs> no, no, we're done with the light tanks for now. For now. What else here? Uh, operational organization. It's too good to defuse infantry weapons. Really. Um, yeah, I guess. What? What do you mean infantry weapons when I don't have infantry warfare? 
you mean tactics. Time event. It's too good. It's too good to abandon. But I guess. We'll abandon for now just so we can research faster. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good with that one. Ooh. I'm done with you. Fuck you. Give me this. Actually, fuck you. I don't need this. PTS. What the hell is PTS? Partisans, right? Human wave! Give me that. And that means... Guerrilla action. That's not bad, though. Large front. Keep doing that. Anything else? That's 1942 here. Well, actually, depends, though. We kind of need that as well. A view. Integrated support. Good for now. Very good. Speed of fire and research. Operation level, yeah. Down with you. Yeah, we kind of lost some things here. Naval, uh, god. Air. Uh, yeah, they're all old shit. It's too bad. 1944 on education. We need those. And also production. Wouldn't hurt to have those keep happening. But I guess we can uh, stop them. No, they were researching, so. Keep them at the end then. If they were researching. We have better things to research at the moment. We are not researching anything here because we don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, the United States, we do not give a shit about resources. Uh, is it respiration? I kind of need this eventually, but mm, it's two years ahead, we're good. Mechanical computing machine in that. Radar. Efficiency. Fuck. Too many things I kind of don't, I kind of want to do, but don't do. Repair, rebate. Uh, keep doing that, that's important. Uh, nothing in the boats, yes. Except large warship radar. Which you were kind of working out, but fine, never. Matter cruiser, we kind of need to start researching the shit. The shit that it's called. Better destroyers. Right, right. And um, armor. Not much. Anti-air tank destroyers and anti-tank guns. We can use tanks for those. Unless we want to have infantry with the anti-tank. Hmm. Let's... let me check something. We get an attachment. Anti-tank. Because I do believe, unlike artillery, Anti-tank has combat with. What the fuck is combat with? Expression, speed. Uh, there it is. No, it does not. Hmm. I mean, I could give my brigade some anti-tank support. Hmm. I don't know. Should I? I mean, the idea is, at the moment, they have piercing 5, right? My infantry has piercing 5, so at the moment they're about as useful as the infantry. But eventually, if I focus on them, they might have better piercing. Fine! That means we're gonna have... <laughs> ah, damn it to hell. I should have thought about that. But I didn't say, I'm gonna be fine. I haven't used them and I've been fine with them with Romania, so. You know what? No, fuck them. Fuck them. I'm fine. Besides, I already started putting artillery in. only artillery in my, in my uh, infantry division, so that's gonna be a mess to re. reassign them. Besides, I do believe artillery has some. none. <laughs> artillery has no armor piercing. Fine. We're gonna use tanks if the enemy has tanks. We'll be fine. We'll use heavy tanks. We'll use aircraft. We'll be fine. There's no problem with that. Everything else? Eh, fuck you. No! I'm done! I'm full on pr supplies! Look at that shit! Really? I'm good! Next time! Everything else next time! Thank you all for watching, comrades! See you next time when we'll hopefully uh, invade Mexico. Unlikely, because we still need United Emergency, National Emergency, which means France needs to fall, I believe.
then you enter Kingdom Pro Surrender Bros needs to be at least 10% and Yugoslavia needs to be a government in exile. Right. And the Day of Infamy. When we'll use lose all of our infamy. <laughs> all of our neutrality and gain 500 manpower. Right. Yeah, we're not getting any more in um, leadership, which sucks. Anyway, goodbye.